tried to make my home feel like my sanctuary. Only E.T. got an inside look at Southern Charm star Catherine Dennis's new three-story, three-bed, three-and-a-half-bath Charleston home. Well, um, I am renting this house month to month, but it does give off the feeling that I've earned a space of my own. I'm not living under someone else's rules, aka decorating. And it makes me feel really proud. I've worked really hard to get where I am, and you know, I see them happy in this space, and it makes me, I don't know, just feel complete. That sounds cliche, but they would be Catherine's two kids, Kenzie and Saint, whom she shares with ex Thomas Ravenel. There's lots of space for the children to do whatever they want. We build forts, and this is my new white couch that they have yet to It's draw. still white. <laughs> I know. As far as we can tell, the kiddos have kept their destruction at bay. Saint's got his own baby man cave downstairs, while upstairs you'll find Kenzie's room and Catherine's master suite. Do you feel very adult in this house? I do, in the sense that there's a lot less stuff, so I'm able to like be calm and like in the moment at all times because I don't have something I need to clean or something I need to dust. If that makes sense. You saw my house in like my closet last time. Like yes. So many things. Just ugh, I don't know. Well, I want to see what your closet looks like now. Oh boy. Can we go in there? <laughs> New and improved closet. I've cut down about seventy percent. Okay, it's still bright and colorful in yeah, there. Yeah, of course. It's like my brain just like threw up everywhere. All colors. <laughs> the last time I was in your closet, you saw all the stuff that Thomas had given you over the years. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. Cleared um, that out of your life. Yeah, I purged and I mean, I got rid of probably 70% of things and his was all included. I just don't want that in my life now. You know, I'm in a new place and I just, I don't know. Just don't need it. Keep giving you jewelry and stuff. That's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, new energy in here. Right, exactly. It's actually like made me a lot happier. You live kind of a crazy life. There's a lot that goes on in your life. Right. How do you find the strength to maintain your sobriety in the chaos of your life? Um, well, I will say that I stay out of a lot of the things I used to do, obviously, which is the social events, the silly, like, parties and whatnot and I spend a lot of time at home and really I'm so like numb to all the craziness outside of me that I live in the perfect little bubble. I can't ever really put my finger on exactly how but I guess the easiest way to describe it is like my children. Every time I look at them and if I'm not with them I just scroll through photos of them on my phone. Like a weirdo but um, yeah. It's not weird that's what moms do. Right. I could talk in circles about it but really it's my children. Yeah. Number one priority. Absolutely. Absolutely. If he goes to jail, I'll be a single mom. It's just like overwhelming because it's like the court date's getting sooner. This season, there's going to be new tough obstacles that you probably did not see coming with Thomas. Mm -hmm. how, <laughs> no. How did you handle that and what's going to be the tough part of watching it back? The tough part of watching it back is that when it did happen, it was such an emotional roller coaster that I feel like my brain could not handle it. It's going to be a lot of reminders of just those feelings I went through. I didn't know how to feel. I mean, it's not an everyday situation. I right. Um, but it is what it is, and I've learned to accept that way of thinking in all aspects of my life, I suppose. But yeah, it's very different this year. Is it better, worse, or? Really, it's better in the sense that I'm just living my life. I'm not a product of a relationship. I'm not someone's girlfriend. I'm not dealing with anyone else's life, <laughs> per yeah. se. And I'm able to just live my own, like show people the real me at the very root of it, you know? Return to my roots. And um, that in and of itself feels liberating and makes me really proud. So I'm not perfect by any means. I might still get a little crump, but um, definitely grew up a lot.